What is going on guys, Lone Piece of Gamer here bringing you a Sony Vegas tutorial video. I've never done one of these before, but I'm not going to go over um, exactly how to edit videos, put things together, do, you know, video effects, sound effects, editing of that nature, nothing like that. But rather, I'm going to show you guys how I fixed pixelation in rendered videos. Let's say you, you render out a video using Fraps, um, which is what I use right here, and then you have... That raw footage, the footage looks great. It's 1080p, it's 60 frames per second or 30, whatever, whatever you, whatever you use. But then you put it into Sony Vegas. You put your intro in, you edit it all out, you render it out in 1080p settings. Fine, right? It comes out. You upload it, and you start watching it, or you watch it before you upload it, and you notice something like this. I'm going to show you in my my one of my previous videos of Skyrim that I that I uploaded not too long ago what actually happens so this is what I'm coming across here this pixelation crap it, it'll pixelate then it'll go away it'll be crystal clear it'll pixelate and then it'll go away and it happens because of the bitrate of the of the video that you're uploading to YouTube or rendering out so let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly the video bitrate is on a raw footage recorded from Fraps and this is Skyrim here so the the raw bit rate, the data rate or total bit rate is one po around 1.5 gigs per second. Now that is not what you want to put into Sony Vegas for a rendered video because you might as well just simply upload the raw footage. It's going to be so huge and it'll take so long to upload. I don't even think YouTube will allow it to be quite honest with you. But a solution that I found is within the render settings. So let's say you ready to, you, you edit your video out, you're ready to render it. You know, you hit render as and it gives you a slew of uh, of settings to use. Now let's go ahead and and check out something that a lot of people use or a lot of uh, a lot of YouTubers use here while they're using Sony Vegas. And that's Windows Media Video V11. And they go down, they find the 1080p, 30 30p, 30 frames per second. Well, let's customize this. Let's see what the actual bitrate is going to be. And they don't actually, or it's right here, where is it? 30 frames per second, progressive scan. And this is it right here, internet land. 8 megs per second is what it's going to come out to. And that's just not going to cut it. That's just not going to cut it. It's going to be very pixelated. And even what is recommended you use, which is main concept AVC, which is an MP4 format, you go down to, let's say you find Internet HD 1080p, Customize Template, and it's going to give you a variable bit rate here. And uh, so the average bit rate is going to be 12, the maximum is going to be 24, or, or vice versa. That's 24 megabytes, and this is 12 megabytes. Keep in mind our video is at 1.4 gigs. That's how much de raw data was stored in our original video, but we're not going to get anywhere near that. And uh, through the, the hassle of fiddling around with settings, I came across one that works pretty well. And what you want to do is, instead of using variable bitrate, whatever, whatever that's set to, because it's going to fluctuate, it's going to go, in high motion scenes, it's going to go, you know, if you're moving slow, it's going to be nice and crystal clear, and you move real quick to the right or something, it's going to start pixelating, and it's going to, it's going to drop down a little bit. You don't want that. What you want instead is constant bitrate, and you want to set this to... 30 or above. So what I've tested was 50. And 50 megs, this is 50 uh, uh, megabytes here. What I found is 30 or above is perfect. It's crystal clear. There's none of that pixelation crap going on. So anything 30 and above, I mean, they give it a 28, which should probably be okay. It'll be better than the default that uh, Sony Vegas gives you for any 1080p video. So if, if you want to keep it at 28, keep it at 28. It's going to be a smaller file size. It might be better for your hard drive. It might be easier to upload. It will be easier to upload. It'll be faster to render out quicker. But uh, 50 is crystal clear. Trust me. Constant bitrate 50. That's what you want in your video. And you can mess around with your audio and, and bump all that crap up too. Um, also, if you haven't already... Uh, known YouTube now allows 60 frames per second, so you, you can obviously go here to the frame rate and change it from uh, default, which is I think 29 point something, 29.97, um, and bump it up to 60 if you want to get the 60 frames per second crystal clear 1080p video that everybody wants. So I hope this helped you guys out, and if it did, hit the like button below. Subscribe if you haven't 
for gameplay videos, random tutorials like this, and, and whatever else I decide to upload. So thanks for watching, guys, and take care.